Hello. Just before I get to this video, all I have to say is that this video is not supposed to be any hate toward Gorilla Tag or Lemming at all. I want this to be a fun, but yet ed slightly educational video. But that's all I really gotta say, so enjoy this video. As you know, Gorilla Tag is one of the most popular VR games on the Quest right now. But to have popularity, you have to go through hard times. But this time, Grill Tech had it so bad that it almost killed its player base in the process. So grab your family sized bag of potato chips and two gallons of Capri Sun because I introduced to you Gorilla Tag's biggest downfall. To explain how all this happened, we have to go back to when it all started August 2021. Gorilla Tag was still an App Lab game, uh, so it did not have the player base it does now, but that was okay. It was a wholesome community that felt like family, but there was a problem. The game felt bland. It was fun, but it was the same process over and over. Join, run, tag, repeat. Nothing crazy. Until one day, there's something new, something no one has ever seen before. PBBV was alive. According to online resources, he spawns on the bridge in forest, uh, he, and he paces it, but that's not all. He talks. As people describe it, he speaks in an unsettling, creepy, inaudible voice. And as you already know, people loved it. The topic of Gorilla Tag Ghosts went viral. Hundreds of thousands of people watching videos trying to learn more. It even led to people creating their own ghosts. It was chaotic, but in a good way. It finally made the game feel special. The feeling Gorilla Tech has been lacking since it's been out. You may be wondering, who made such a masterpiece? And I have the answer. The creator of PBV wasn't special. In fact, according to him, he was a victim. He just spread the news. And the first victim of PBV was Chipped. Chipped was just a kid. He was mysterious and he has as many questions as we do. Some YouTubers such as Jayman Curly and VMT decided to interview Chip. Well, I was, I was gonna first ask, are you PBVV? Or is it somebody else who's going around doing all the noises? She's right there. Key. So that's Key. PBBV, the Key. siren. Yep. Are there actual are there actually people going around banning others in the game? Is there somebody actually doing that? It was either yesterday or the day before where somehow they disconnected my display port and my USB to my computer. Whoa. I don't know how they did that, but my VR just wouldn't turn on for a day. As you see, he don't really intend to make this ghost but he is one of the most popular Gorilla Tech players just because of this. But let me inform you, this next topic is when it really starts to get crazy. So stick around for it, because this is when we get into the dangerous case of... Daisy 09. Daisy is definitely one of the most popular ghosts of Gorilla Tag. The entity will spawn and stump like a regular player, but unlike most ghosts, it plays something. The song it plays is called Daisy Bell, composed by Harry Dars. You may be thinking, why this song? What makes it so special? Well, we believe the reason it plays Daisy Bell because it was the first computer produced song, and that is also why the ghost's name is Daisy. But what does Daisy do? The entity will spawn and stump and walk down to the leaderboard in Forest while playing Daisy Bell. Then, it would point to a player on the board, and that player will typically either get kicked or sometimes even banned. You may be thinking, all oh, this is cool and all, but what actually is the reason behind the downfall of Gorilla Tag? And the answer is. Nemo. Nemo was a gorilla tag ghost, but unlike others, it would spawn multiple versions of itself. It would lag out people's game and either kick them or force them to leave. This broke the game tremendously. The reason behind Nemo was when your gorilla joins a game before all the other players load in, their name is Nemo. 
Now, I don't know why every out of everything they chose this. My best guess is because it kind of makes sense with what the ghost does. Nemo was really bad, but this was just the beginning. What happens next is mind-blowing, yet the next thing is the main reason why the game almost died. What is player tracking? Player tracking is where a monkey knows what code you are in at all times. This could happen to anyone. The main target though was YouTubers. The reason this almost killed the game is because YouTubers would try to record a video, but they couldn't because every time they entered a code, someone would join. They were never safe. And because of this, a lot of big Gorilla Tech creators quit. And if there were no more creators to keep the game entertaining, people would quit. How did people player track? There were Discord servers that people would join, and the YouTubers' info would be in them, like their player ID and everything else. Using their player ID, they could go into your Gorilla Tech info, and with the info, it shows things such as your age, your location, and it showed what code you're in. Now this was really bad, but it all still went downhill from there. Because of all these things, the modders, the player trackers, the ghosts, trying to fix all of this, Lemming was too busy to update the game. This was a problem. We even went three months without an update. Because of this, people quit. The game got boring. And with all the problems, we can even say it got annoying to play Gorilla Tag. There's an era where Gorilla Tag uh, ended up being a really hated game because it got so bad. I remember logging on one time and there were only 5,000 people online. The majority left. And it was safe to say Gorilla Tag was dead. But as you know, it not completely die. So how did he save the game? First thing he did was hire more people on the team to work on the game. Then he gave us the best update of all time in my opinion. The 2022 fall update. It came with so many new things, decked out maps, great cosmetics, and the best of all, an actual entity in Gorilla Tag. Named Lucy, it came in red and blue variants. This update brought so many players back, almost the entire fan base came back actually. Then, the Christmas update came around and brought the average amount of players way up. The game was officially saved. Now just some honorable mentions on what ruined and saved the game. Ruined, bees, mini games, and tryhards. Saved, making Gorilla Tag cost money, listening to the community more, and the new creator badge. I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. I put a lot of hard work into this video. And if you enjoyed it, go ahead and hit the subscribe button because I upload a lot of videos like this and I'm trying to hit 10K. So if you do that, you'll also be doing me a big favor. Join the Discord server. We do a lot of fun things in there and I even sometimes send out code. So if you want to like personally play with me, just join the Discord server. It's a lot of fun. In conclusion, get me the 10K or else I'll shoot your dog.